Hello everybody and welcome back to another video today we're back for more of the hunt only challenge in the last episode we started off our hunt only challenge we got two characters on our account we got the Don Hang and we got the Shu Shang and today we're continuing our challenge and going to explore more of Lurilo 6 and take on some of its hardest bosses with just two hunt characters and potentially maybe get our first hunt five star today on the departure warp banner but who knows the only way to find out is by continuing into the video so without further ado let's go and start the challenge but before we do that these videos really do take a lot of effort this took a lot of time to record edit and put together so it really mean a lot to me if you could just go down and hit that subscribe button only a small percentage of you are actually subscribed so it really does help a lot when each individual person does subscribe anyways guys let's get back in to the challenge all right well today we have a pretty tricky episode we're gonna have to fight our very first couple of bosses now i have done this once before but i think it'll be a little harder on hunt than it was on nihility and look at that our first calx I, is this the exp one i honestly have no idea Ooh, it is the exp one do i need this right now don hang is level 20 shu shang is level 20 okay we don't need to worry about this in between episodes, I did do a tiny bit of grinding. We're now Trailblaze level 9, on the brink of 10 to be honest. So we may actually reach that a little sooner than later. But first, we have to recover a dead man from the snow. Hi, Sampo. Also, another little something that I did uh, in the past couple weeks was I made sure to log into this account. And I made sure to get all the Stellar Jades and the Star Rail Passes from the two events that were up that gave us those rewards. So we're now sitting at about 20 wishes for Topaz or Sele. And our first boss battle is coming up. Uh, well, I've done this one time before. Is this gonna be any more difficult? We'll find out. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, one's already dead, nice. Kill this one, done. Battle number two, single target him. He's dead, boom, boom, and die. And just like that, zero damage taken, and we beat him. Oh, never mind. Uh, we haven't beaten them yet, it seems. Hello, Geppard. And it's time for the actual challenge. Here he is. We can take out his little ally here first with Don Hang. Boom, boom, boom. He's dead. We start knocking him down a little bit. Okay, I think if we just get him down a certain amount, if I remember this boss battle correctly, I believe at 25% HP left, he'll just forfeit the match, basically. So let's just try to get him to that amount, and then we should be good. Boom. And then do this. Come on, forfeit the battle, Geppard. Forfeit. Shoot. Oh, there he goes. That was a lot easier than last time. Unlucky, Geppard. Maybe next time you'll be able to get us. Bullaborg, we're here. Let's go. Hunt only has arrived on the scene to solve all its problems. And just like that, we're in the city now. Pretty easy entrance. Not too many struggles so far. It's going a lot smoother than I expected it to. We'll see if that'll be interrupted later. There may be a certain evil mastermind with blonde hair that's sitting up in the Tower of Bellabog. That may ruin all that for us, but we'll see. And we're here. Trailblaze level 10. Nice. Do we get anything for Trailblaze level 10? Uh, doesn't seem like it. I can at least go back and claim my rewards in the parlor car, though. Pom Pom, give me my rewards. Nice. We get a Star Rail Pass. Cool. Thanks, Pom Pom. All right, back we go. Geppard, you can, you know, you can move faster than this. There is a sprint key in the game, Geppard. It's Madame Cocolia Ran. Madame Cocolia Ran, my favorite character in the whole game. I have a gut feeling that her imminent death may be nigh. Hello there. Hi, Bronya. Just wait till I start Harmony only, Bronya. You'll be the main character in that series. 10,000 likes and I'll do it tomorrow. God, I don't want to do that challenge. Why'd I say that? Harmony only would suck so much. All right, we're free from Cocolia. We can explore this city now. Hooray. One of the most important things that I like to do in the city before we do absolutely anything is head over to the vending machine because food will be crucial. We can get disposable shields. That's always a huge help. Give me all of those. Give me, give me some trick snacks. Give me some energy drinks. We need all the food we can get. Trust me, in the early stages of these challenges, food is a really crucial aspect to it. So we're just trying to get as much as possible. And then another important thing is just going around, collecting every chest we can, get as much Trailblaze EXP as possible. There's even random sellers like Alexis. What do you have? Useless stuff, not interested, don't talk to me. 
Oh look, it's the irrelevant character who shows up like once in the entirety of the Bella Box story. Poor Pela. What do you have? Um, I can't synthesize yet, I don't think. Can I synthesize? Shoot, I can't. I'll, I'll be able to do it soon though. And then of course, my favorite pastime in all of Bellabog, running in front of the trains and stopping them. Unlucky. Oh, I love that every time. It never gets old. And then of course, we also get to talk to new characters like Serval. I got the chance to meet Serval's voice actor at a con recently. And since then, she's actually become like one of my favorite characters in the game. Too bad we can't use her though. Let's repair her gadget thing. The most difficult puzzle in all the land. Uh, guys, I'm lost. Okay, we did it. Nice. Nice. And then, of course, after we're done all our tasks for the day, we get to go back to the Go... Go V Hotel. Goth Hotel? That's not how you spell goth. And then we get to go back and rest on our bed and... And definitely not get ambushed in the morning. That would never happen. Not in Bellabog. We trust everybody here, right? Oh. Never mind. Hi there, Bronya. And we jump this popsicle stand. Goodbye. Man, look at Don Hang. He's always coming in clutch. And peace. Bye, Bronya. We'll see you again in about two minutes or so when you ambush us again and we have to do the hard battle. Oh, gosh. All right, well, we're here. Backwater Pass. This is going to be our first dungeon of the series. Let's see how this goes. I'm going to try to fight as many tough enemies as I can, as we haven't been having too many struggles recently. So I reckon enemies like this, I can probably take on. Let's go. Boom. Just kill them. It's easy as that. Okay, I might have got too cocky. Oh, God. Oh, why are they all going for Don Hang? Please go for Shu Shang. Stop! What the heck? They all targeted him down. It's fine. We got this. One enemy left. See, look at that. That was super easy. Okay, goodbye. Okay, maybe we can't do hard battles yet. And is this the Golden Calx? Oh, no. This is the Sparse Aether Calx. I believe I already have enough Aether, though. Light Cone 20. Light Cone 20. We're good. Let's keep moving. Oh, gosh. What the heck? What's this? Unlock. Nice. Trust. Nice. So many enemies everywhere, bro. Get another space anchor. Heal us a little bit. We're gonna need it. More chests. So much treasure. Oh, more puzzles. Hooray. We all love puzzles. Let's go. Give me that. They're gonna... Oh, wait. Do we finally unlock consumables now? Please. Consumables. Yes. We have consumables. Let's go. Yeah, give me that. If we have consumables, does that mean we can synthesize? Oh, no, we can't yet. Luckily, if you guys remember, we did prepare a bit of food back when we were in Bellabog. So we are able to do stuff like recover our TP points and even get some defense buffs too, which will definitely help us out. Even against bosses like this one. Easy time. Come on, we got this. I'm not worried. That's bad. It looks like our team may still be a little too weak for that battle. Hopefully, Bronya will be a little different. Oh, gosh. I think this is it. Oh, no. Uh, hi, Bronya. Oh, goodness gracious. This will be our very first fight without any support characters where we actually have to kill the boss. She has full health. I don't know if we can do this, but we're going to try our very best. This will be the very first trial of Hunt Only. Can we overcome it? Let's find out. One broken. Two broken. We're going to have to take a hit from that one every time, but that's fine. We can usually break him on the second attempt, and then we only take one hit. But then after that, it's the difficult part. Because... Don Hank, of course, comes in clutch like normal. But then... Lady Bronya. Lady Bronya. Okay, here we go. It's time. She has physical weakness. That's good. Okay, never mind. She no longer has physical weakness. Great. That's awesome. Ow. Oh. Okay, let's kill our little ally here. Nice. She got her weaknesses back. Good. There we go. And now we just have to break her. And Shu Shang does it immediately. Good job, Shu Shang. Boom. We, of course, use the Don Hang burst. Boom. Tons of damage, Don Hank. Good job. Nice. This is really, really good. We're doing a good job. 29%, 25%. There we go. But she brings in her allies again. That's tough. We're going to have to break him again. One's already dead. Oh, gosh. Okay. We need to bring in Shu Shang here. Boom. 13%. Ugh, that hurt. That hurt. Okay. Please go for Don Hang. 
Oh, shoot. 6% Shu Shang. Wait, why does Don Hang not have his turn yet? I forgot Shu Shang is the only one who gets the speed boost. Dong Hang doesn't have the speed boost yet. Shu Shang gets the extra speed from the light cone, so she has more turns. Actually, our Shu Shang already has 134 speed just from that light cone alone, which is absolutely amazing. Um, let's hit her one more time. She's at 2%. Oh, no. Th please don't kill Don Hang. Nice. I think this should be it. This should be it. Yes. Yes. First try. Oh my goodness. Just barely. Oh my goodness, Don Hang. Good job. Though we got to get more speed on Don Hang. I'm not going to lie. And we're saved by Sampo. Thank goodness. I can't believe we did that first try, guys. Hunt only is off to a great start until we get ambushed by Sampo and bombed and almost killed. Oh, good morning. We're back. And just like that, we're in the underground mines now. We got here pretty fast. Not too much trouble getting here. So far, we're doing pretty well. Oh no, it's Hook the Destruction. Not gonna lie, Hook is the most terrifying character in this entire game. She's kind of like the representative Klee of this game. I, I'm telling you, there's a reason they made her a Destruction character. Oh, we're in a fight club. And of course, our guy Don Hang is in the fight club. Man, when is Don Hang ever not doing something that isn't awesome? I swear this character has always been the coldest one in the entire game. The producers of this game absolutely love Don Hang, you can tell. Now we just have to kill a couple knuckles, should be pretty easy. Boom, boom, and just like that, they're dead. Let's go. Cold Dragon Young. I'm calling him that the rest of the series, by the way. Oh, not gonna lie, I completely forgot we have the Operation Briefing too. This just kind of slipped my mind. I guess I should probably be completing this, shouldn't I? And in actuality, if we are able to complete this, we get a Hunt Light Cone for it, which will be really, really nice. This increases our speed by 8% and our damage by 12%. So this will be a really good Light Cone if we're able to get it. But if that last battle proved anything to me, is that the three-star Light Cone that Shu Shang has is actually super good. This was able to increase our speed by like 20% or something Thing, and then we were able to get double turns which was absolutely huge in that last battle so that was something that was very important and i might actually keep that three star light cone and try to get one for don hang but the only way to get that three star light cone is but i believe by wishing and of course we have four banners right now and one of them which proves the most useful to us which is the departure warp banner we're gonna roll on the departure warp banner and get our guaranteed yong ching let's go come on now five star shoot that's okay i'm feeling a shu shang don hang dupe that's the only two things i could really use unless you want to give me a light cone not that light cone we also want that three star speed light cone. I'm not sure if that's the one. I'm gonna have to check it afterwards. I think that may be the speed one. Is that the speed one? I have no idea. I don't know what the three stars look like. That I know I can't use though. And we got two Nihility things. Unfortunately, we're not on Nihility only though. So that's unfortunate. Oh no, Bronya. Oh no, she's dead. Well, rest in peace. Just kidding. That's... Our next hunt character, Sele, coming in clutch. Come on now, Sele. Yeah, that's my girl. Oh, I can't wait to bring her home. She is going to be such a cool character to have on this account. If we're able to get her, that is. Oh, well, it seems that's the end of our Trailblaze mission. After meeting Zila, we're going to have to wait till level 14 to continue. But we get our daily training. Now that is big because this is going to be our best way to get Trailblaze EXP. We're going to need this. Okay, here it is. We need to do Golden Calcs, get a daily mission done. And just like that, hopefully we can get Trailblaze level 14 is what I'm hoping for. Oh, we also have assignments. I should look at that too. Get me some EXP books. Sure. Gave me some materials. More materials. Never mind. All right, what's your problem? I'm here to solve it. All right, problem solved. And I didn't even have to move from where I was. Nice. Level up any light cone one time. I got you. Level up. Boom. Leveled up. 300. Dual golden calcs. Easy. No problem. Give me a minute here. Bang, bang. Destroy him. Don Hang kills another. Shu Shang kills another. And we won. Nice. Good stuff. 200 Trailblades EXP. What level are we at now? 
13. I need a little bit more. Also, we got an operation briefing from that, which is very nice. Now we only need two more to take it to the next level. One of those is literally just getting an idol on for Trailblazer, so we can do that one right away. Activate that, bang, bang, boom, and get another one. And then I believe we can't activate traces until we hit Trailblaze level 15. So let's do a couple golden calxes, and then hopefully we'll be at that level. Ah, we got synthesizing, finally. <laughs> I think we're Trailblaze level 14 now, so we finally got Synthesizing, which is a big W. If we go to the Synthesizer, oh, thank goodness, this is the, so helpful to the challenge, man. Oh, heavens yes. Let's go. I can't wait to get more recipes, add them to the collection, and synthesize us some new materials, food, you name it, we need it. And we're also still really close to level 15. I'm going to do a tiny bit more grinding. And hopefully by the time we're done, level 15 will be upon us. We did it! Let's go. Trailblaze level 15. There we go. And with that, it's going to give us the option to ascend our characters, which of course we're going to do. Don Hang ascended and leveled up 30. Wait, I can't ascend my Shu Shang? Bro. Oh shoot, I used all my... Okay. And now Shu Shang is ascended and leveled up as well. And we get an additional Star Rail Pass because why not? As for our light cones, we're of course gonna level up. Okay, I'm out of undying embers. Shoot. Bro, are you kidding me? It's fine. Let us level up their traces. Fun. Two, two, and two for our Dong Hang. And then, of course, gonna get our Shu Shang to two, two, two as well. Let's go. And then the last thing we have to do is level up their light cones, which, in order to do that, we need some embers, and if you guys know how to get embers, there's only one way to wish. And would you look at that, remaining warps, 10 out of 50. It's our time. We're going to go to the iconic wishing place, which I always like going to, which is, of course, where we save Sampo from the snow. If you guys don't know the history behind this location, this is where we got Welt on the Nihility only account, and that was what saved our entire run. So maybe if we resonate luck in the same spot, we can bring home our Yong Ching. We pray with all our heart. There is a one in seven chance. Can we make it happen? Let's find out now. Guaranteed five star renew it. Come on, one in seven chance. It's happened to me once, can it happen again? Okay, this is intense. Whew. Two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, shoot. Okay, well, we didn't need that. Here's number 10. Yan Cheng, this is your moment. There is no other characters I need. If you come home on this poll now, we'll have the most OP hunt account you've ever seen. Please, Yan Cheng, come on. Right now. Shh. <laughs> damn it. One in seven chance. It looks like we lose it. Hi, Geppard. Oh man, that sucks, bro. But it's okay, because wouldn't you know, if we go to our events, Trailblazing Will, 10 more Star Rail Passes. We go back to the Wishing Center. We go back to Wish for one more 10 pull on the Standard Banner. We're gonna get a five star. Nah, okay. I'm skipping it. I made a good decision skipping it. No Young Cheng, which is sad. However, that did give us the last part of our operation briefing. And with that, we're going to get our first four star hunt light cone, which is going to be really, really nice. I think we're probably going to put that onto my Don Hang, switch that onto him, and that's going to increase his speed and his damage. A very nice boost for him. We're going to enhance that as far as we're able to. And of course, now that we have embers, we can finally get the materials we need to get the final few parts for our light cones. We're gonna ascend this one all the way to level 30, and then we're gonna go to Shushang and increase hers all the way to level 30 as well, or level 29, give me a minute. Now level 30, perfect. Shushang and Don Hang now with level 30 light cones. And just like that, we have maxed out both of our four stars. Unfortunately, weren't able to get a new five star, but that is going to be the end of our episode for today. It's not the end of the road. We got two five stars coming up. We're going to have to be on our grind. And we will be to hopefully get either Sele or Topaz. But anyways, that's going to be all for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'm going to see you guys all in the next hunt only episode. But for right now, see you all later. Peace.